Butler for cutscenes. Kind of reminds me of Black Zero in X4. Though to be fair in that game, he was only unlockable by cheat code. But sadly he didn't even do anything in that game. Well, we can just save. And then start the two middle stages. Probably where this first recording session is going to end, by the way. Just wanted to bring that up. This is when I really, really miss skippable cutscenes. Although, to be fair, the story presented here is actually really good, if not great. I mean, imagine if this was something like, like Mega Man 8 you had to sit through, with all the horrendous voice acting that game has. Speaking of voice acting, X4 is also something, although that does look like Batman The Dark Knight when it's compared to Mega Man X7 voice acting. A game which, by the way, I can never bring myself to go to the second Maverick stage, so I'm not even gonna bother to beat that game. And X Gate just kinda bogs me down, so I'm not doing that either. You know, considering it was an all-out attack, you would think they would have transferred zero at the same time. Also, if you say no, you just get locked in a loop until you say yes, so nothing too exciting happens there. Although, hey, another case of the best music in the game. I think this stage is doable within one life. But not the second middle stage, though. Oh, I think I'm gonna get close, but at least we have this. Oh, that was a good RNG. I'm just getting a few more health while I can. Don't you love it when attacks of video games reach over the target? Like that. I'm just gonna switch to the energy form for good measure. Just go get restored back to full health quickly. You know how it is. With one life left and whatnot. I like how like everything but health is dropping. And of course I couldn't even do it that time. Finally, I mean how much bad luck must what a what I have, have to be having to not get a single health up until then. I mean, just think about it, really. Okay, we're done. No comments. Might as well stay in this a little bit, form a little bit longer, only for sub tank energy. Which makes no mistake though, I probably will be needing it soon enough.
power farm. Yeah, these two really do carry the whole run, don't they? Okay, we gotta switch back to the ice ship real quick. I don't know why these bosses got the special treatment, though, of actually getting the theme. Also, gee, it's a shield. You'd think it would block against things, but no, I guess not. This is going to be a nightmare. Jump rope. Oh lord, not the second one. I mean... To be, I guess this is really hard because of the painfully slow charge time, however. Scratch that, this really isn't even hard, you just need some patience. The job is lacking at first. Oh, I guess damage boosting is the way to go. Yep. Funny, fun, funny enough how my bar is basically just one, exactly one full. Also, reminder, we were gone for like less than a minute, and then everyone got killed. Really scares me, thinking about how fast they did it. Although, imagine, although if we want to be slightly more realistic, well, let's just say I'm, now I'm kind of glad this game doesn't have voices in it. If you're confused, try to put two and two together. I mean, we're all working to coexist with humanity, so it's your fault. This stage is going to be something else, isn't it? Well, time to commit and die. What a guy. We gotta watch that again. That cutscene. Like, what happened when when porting the source cut over? Like, could they not figure out how to skip cutscenes with zero one and zero two, but somehow did for the other four games? Like, this just confuses me to no end. I really want the debuster right now. I'm just gonna say that. I mean, there's a blind leap of faith coming up. See? Like, who thought that was good? Like, who... Who let that into the final game? Press jump there, but I guess we're setting through this cutscene a third time. And again.
Yeah, this truly is one of the hardest stages. But for of course the worst reason. Screen crunch. The worst part is it's only two stages that have screen crunch. This and Harpuya stage. The first one anyway. The rest of the game's just fine. Blind leap of faith. Oh, well how about that, huh? Uh. This really is one of the worst levels by far. Legit though, Who's, who looked at this and thought, yeah, yeah, this is good game design. Just let, put that in the final product. Ugh, at least we're finally done with that nonsense. Hopefully we don't need to get a game over or anything like that. I think I strip it is for the rest of the stage, really. Why is the shield boomerang so ineffective? Because, you know, it's a shield. Like, but for, but for real, though. I think if I can just get to the boss in this life, I'll be fine. With myself. You know what? We're doing this again. Sorry to say. Okay, that didn't take too long, to be honest. And that's the third sub tank complete. Oh, this is a nice little cutscene, isn't it? Might want to switch back to Flame Ship for now, though, considering we're locked out of a dash. Speaking of which, I've always found it kind of disappointing that, that, sorry, that the, that the Chain Rock Charge Attack is the same as the Triple Rock from the first game. Although, I have heard that in terms of doing combos, it is different, so that's a little something, I guess. Uh... Might as well go get some help. I love how his arm is straight up bending around it at this point. But I mean, more health for me, so... Wow. I guess that's one way to go about it. Seriously, that is kind that is pr kind of broken, though. Oh, dear lord. This is why I'm glad I have sub-tanks. Although, to be fair, I guess this will be use- the energy form will be useful here, too. Yep, this. Wow, F four sub tanks already. I guess we can farm for E crystals here. And considering that they drop so much health anyway, it's not going to be too much of an issue. Wow, 
Like, that's what, like, these crawling enemies are legit the only reason why this section can be difficult. Because if it were for them, this would be a piece of cake. With no thought required. But for real, though. Health would be nice, though, yes. Okay, we have a back. We're cool. Gotta love my accidental farming, too. Mm. Now I'm just trying to not get hit. Still not done yet. I mean, there isn't much of a point to it, but whatever. You know, you could transfer two people last time. What was the issue this time? Like, I don't get it. Well, down here we go, I guess. Though to be fair, although to the game's credit, there is a sub thing. Uh, yeah, we're doing this again, I guess. Just for a few health, though. Since we're already done in terms of sub tanks. Nice. We have no music. There we go. It's the Beetle Man. Should probably not be charging up Shield Boomerang though out of all weapons. Mainly because it has so much charge time. And mainly because it really can't block much either. Despite being a shield. At least that does rip off a pretty good chunk of health. Well, at least that wasn't too bad. 